the DNR isn't the only entity interested in these abandoned mines. Rare earth elements, also known as RES, are only found in tiny concentrations in very specific parts of the world. RES are used for all sorts of things we use today, like tech products, cell phones, electric and hybrid cars, wind turbines, solar panels, and more. But they're obviously pretty hard to come by. It's why Jia Liao, an associate professor at Southern Illinois University, is interested in these mines. She has been awarded a two-year, $200,000 grant from the U.S. Department of Interior to figure out how to extract these rees from Illinois' abandoned coal mines. And it's why she joins us right here on The Current. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. All right, why don't we start with where in or around these mines you're finding these rare earth elements? Uh, these mines are all within one hour driving distance from Southern Illinois University at Carmodale. Here we are located in Southern Illinois area. In this region, there are many uh, abandoned coal mines. Uh, so here uh, they have acid mine drainage issue uh, generated after years. Uh, but what we are doing is we are extracting valuable resources from some waste water or waste material. Okay, okay, so the water, kind of like that acid, is coming out of the mines. And then how do you extract elements out of that? Uh, previously, we already did some uh, study in our lab, used the bacteria originally in those uh, sites uh, that can absorb rare earth elements and recover them. And in this uh, new project, we want to further put a bacteria to a cathode chamber of a bioelectrochemical system. So there in the cathode chamber, we hope the bacteria can do a better job by uh, stimulating their growth and also by providing some uh, negative charge to that uh, chamber so that the rare earth elements can be selectively absorbed onto the surface of those biomaterials. Okay, so you're going to have to forgive me. I don't have a very STEM-oriented brain. So is the plain term for this, you would kind of scoop up some of that water or whatever, and then you bring it back to the lab, and that's when you kind of put it through these processes to extract the elements? Yes, so first is the lab skill or bench skill study. We need to go to take water samples from those abandoned mine sites and take to the lab. And then we will just do those experiments in the lab scale. Yeah, so all these will be conducted in the lab. But in the future, if the technology is successful, then we can run some pilot skill study in the field as well. Oh, okay, okay, so that's the eventual goal. I mean, I know sustainability is important to you, how does sustainability and environmental conditions play into your research? Uh, so here we are using uh, biomaterials, so they are more environmental friendly rather than conventional uh, method like solvent extraction. You need to use lots of organic solvents, which also may bring some environmental side impact. Uh, so this is one consideration. Another consideration we use this bioelectrochemical system also can uh, actually is a uh, fuel cell itself can supply the energy needed during the recovery process. So this can make the process more sustainable. And of course, we are extracting some valuable materials from some waste water, waste material. So this can really uh, make this whole project sustainable. Yeah, especially for you know these, these mines that haven't been put to work in years or decades for some of them. But how important is this work that you're doing? How important is it to extract these sort of elements? Uh, so one thing is, um, most of the rare earth elements in the U.S. are not depend on imports from other countries. Uh, we also have some primary uh, mineral sources, but extraction uh, from those uh, using the conventional method or from the primary sources uh, will bring some environmental impact, environmental issues. So then we want to consider to extract rare earth elements from non-conventional or secondary sources like coal byproducts or coals or acid mine drainage from abandoned or just actually running coal sites. Wow. So you had a two-year grant. You just started earlier this year. I mean, how has your research gone so far? Is it what you expected? 
Yes, I, I will see we are halfway now, <laughs> uh, but still uh, we already uh, had some uh, breakthrough, but still we have some further steps to take in order to uh, know how uh, really works well the technology is. But now what, what we discovered is uh, by using our innovative system, we can have uh, we can double the real earth element recovery compared to bio suction alone. Wow, doubling the elements. I mean, that's big. Yes. Professor, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And if you guys at home you want to share this story or learn more about this process, you can find our article on this research up on our website. All you got to do is click on the As Seen on TV tab.